Okay, back at it. And this journal here and the connecting rod where it uh, hooks up here to me. Okay, right about here is where I lost the audio on my mic. My mic ran out of juice. So what I was saying is uh, I'm going to go ahead and dictate through the rest of this video. <clears throat> and I'm going to go all the way through what I found and was basically where the uh, connecting rod connects to the crankshaft journal. Uh, what my left hand is on right there had so much slop that uh, I decided to just scrap the engine. Um, but I'm going to continue on and narrate through this video. And just to show you the uh, pieces and parts, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking about, how I'm working on it. And if you are interested in that kind of detail, um, give me a like. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I got a bunch of other uh, small engine repair videos. Check them out on this channel. And I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm getting pretty close. I need, need about 300 more. So any help there would be appreciated. And uh, so what I was doing here was trying to see uh, how to get this uh, piston out here so I can take in then take a look at the uh, the connecting rod itself where it mates up to the uh, journal and see if there's any obvious damage anything uh, just looks weird um, so right now I really don't know I don't have it out yet uh, but I'm gonna have to uh, probably I'm determining that I'll I'll have to be pulling this crankshaft out here so I'm looking at taking the flywheel off and this was kind of a hassle because I, I didn't have the, uh, oh, what am I uh, talking about here? Pulling this thing off. Uh, yeah, I, that I can't, uh, the, the piston stuck. And what had happened was the uh, oil ring, the bottom ring on the piston got jammed up in the cylinder. It just got all mangled up. I don't know. Um, how I could have kept that from happening, except for maybe uh, sand down the uh, internal uh, cylinder a little bit if there was a lip created by some carbon deposits or something like that, but the cylinder seemed pretty smooth. And here I'm taking off this gear that uh, goes to the cam and it's kind of keyed, there it goes right down into the crankshaft there. And so it's basically, this is for timing the valves and it, uh, uh, interlocks with the uh, with the cam for the intake and exhaust valve. And so when you're putting this all back together and putting the cams and the valves in, there's a little dot on here that uh, eventually I get to. Um, got to wipe this off. I can't see it. Actually got to zoom in and look through the camera to even see it. But that dot is on there. I, gotta, I get a little rag and I wipe this off a little bit um, until I... Uh, find it. So I keep looking here. Sorry about this. I'm not going to cut up this video. So I'll just go ahead and keep talking through this. But eventually I do find the little dot. And um, then I just kind of put this back in the bucket. And I get on to taking the flywheel off, which uh, didn't come off real easy. And it was, there's that timing mark right there. You can see it, that little dot. And it lines up with the uh, like an arrow on the camshaft itself, the camshaft gear. Um, so I'm getting ready to uh, put that bucket and I'm gonna get going on this flywheel. Now, because this isn't uh, attached to the mower deck, uh, it's hard to turn. So I'm grabbing a chunk of wood. Um, this is an ax handle, cut off ax handle that I'm shoving in there making sure that it's not making any contact with the connecting rod dangling uh, in the engine block there. And I'm trying to loosen this up, but I really can't get the leverage um, I need. So, and I got this handle super wedged in there um, when I was doing this, especially when I uh, pulled it down to put it on the garage floor.
So when I got it off the garage floor where I could put my foot on it, put some real leverage into it, I got the nut broke loose, but then the flywheel was stuck on there pretty good. And I tried banging on it with uh, rubber mallet. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, the, the axe handle was jabbed in there so bad that I had to put the nut back on and then rotate it in the clockwise direction to get it unstuck. And then when I did, I was able to get the nut back off. So I'm thinking about doing that right now, getting the nut back on there. And I go to tighten it up and it does come loose eventually. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to do that. Okay, so I'm about to break it loose here, pulling it out of there, and uh, I eventually get it out. Now I had to go grab a uh, puller, and it took some bang in to, uh, to get this off. I just got it really tight on there and then uh, pounded it a few times with the hammer really good, and eventually... Uh, went and popped itself off there. I put a little PB blaster down in there and I just uh, took getting it real snug and tight. It's so nice to have air powered impacts uh, in situations like this, but I, I don't have one. I've got, a, I've got an air tank, but it's like a three gallon. It's not very powerful. And the audio is back on. Keep that key in there, it's a little loose. See if I damage the flywheel at all. Looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Sure, I'm clear of that uh, connecting rod. Yep, just found this laying back in the garage. Let's see if I can get a few wax on this just to get it out. Boy, that just does not want to come out. What the hell is it stuck on? That uh, 
governor arm is almost in the way. It is in the way. Getting a straight shot. Puts the connecting rod at kind of a angle. So you can't push straight onto it. It's hanging up. Damn it. Okay, got it out and my rings went flying everywhere. So there's my rings. All jacked up. Falling off. <sighs> it's the oil ring. And then these are compression rings. So. That is not good. At least need an oil ring. Let's see how good or bad this piston is. Yep, seeing how this kind of fits back together. Not very well, really. I don't know if that got spread out or what. <clears throat> but I want to get it back around this journal and see how it fits. It just seemed to have slop in it. So let's kind of get this back on here. Get it started. So it looks like it's closed there. It's closed on that side. It's closed on that side, but I, I thought I was feeling shouldn't be that much slop. That much play. Can you see that? I mean, that is jacked up. There shouldn't be that much. Look at that slop. That's what it kind of looked like before I even took these bolts out of there. So, this motor is officially, I call it toast. I ain't putting that back together. It's going to be bang and bang and bang and clock, 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 clock. That's where this clock is coming from. So, yeah, this was, uh, hopefully this was an educational video. But I don't feel like going any further with this one. Not now. And I don't think this had anything to do with me removing the piston. And I screwed up the uh, oil ring taking it out. But this slap right here, it, it was there before I even started taking this connecting rod apart off of the uh, journal. So, yep. That one's toast. It'll make a nice... Uh, shelf little shelf hanger something like that hey if this helped you out at all uh if you like this kind of stuff like and subscribe you know uh share it uh leave a comment and see you on the next one check out some of my other videos